so it all comes down to this. The final four Omega Navis. The really tough ones. Here in Secret Area 1, our first target is right over here. And I certainly hope you brought some blades, because it's Shadow Omega. Okay, if I can just be careful and track where you're going... There we go. And now we have Dominant Omega and a couple of Killer Eye Omegas. Ay, uh, uh... Yeah, the Dominant is definitely the thing that worries me the most here. Dominard was bad enough back in Battle Network 2, where you could constantly see where it was and where it was going. And they've just gotten more aggravating ever since. With the Killer Eyes, at least if you stay in the back, they can't see you. In fact, the way those two are set up, they can't see you no matter where you are on your field. <laughs> and of course, let's combine Dominard and Shadow. Why not? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, again, I want the Dominard gone first. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, this should do the trick. There we go. And after all that, it's time for Darkman Omega. As usual, the main thing with him is just try not to be in his direct line of sight as much as possible. Those elemental counters of his, they can be a problem. Especially the electric one. It doesn't even care if you're invisible at the time. I've learned that the hard way. Of course, the fun part is with Area Steel, you can pretty much make his bats completely useless. So there's at least that. Another thing I've learned the hard way is, uh, yeah, he does not get stunlocked by things like Bodyguard. Now, you can pin him back into a single panel like this, but it's a calculated risk. So long as you have things with, like, a wide sword range that you don't have to be in his direct line of sight, then it's just fine. But anything that you have to be in a straight line, pinning him back in one panel is a really bad idea. But for our purposes, no problem. And so we get Darkman version 5. And with that, we're done with Secret Area 1. So, on to the next spot. No thank you. We gave it the office. And so we're into Secret Area 2. Here we need to get to the spot in the upper left hand corner where we originally got the Anti Navi chip. Of course, this also reminds me that over on White Version I'm going to have to go clear some numbers and monoliths that uh, I didn't bother with since they're not in the main path of the game. Oh well, no biggie. Okay, so right back here. And we've got a couple of Boomer Omegas. Not really too much of a problem by themselves. Gonna eat through some chips as a precaution, though. Okay, there we go. Now, this grouping is a little more problematic, mainly due to that brush man. Let's see here. Okay, with him out of the way, we're pretty much clear. And... a couple of Sortie Omegas, no problem. It's 
just have to get everybody properly lined up. And preferably not drop the combo there. Good thing I had two of those. And now it's time for Yamato Man Omega. Keeping him back a bit is a pretty good idea. It keeps his spear range from being so much of a problem. A little invisibility. And ready with a couple of these. Just have to be careful of when he's going to use backup. Okay, let's see here. Going to go ahead and eat through a couple more chips there in the hopes of getting something better. And not really. Okay, in that case, let's go ahead and uh, we'll sacrifice these. It's going to take him a while to eat through all the panels to get back to me, at least. Oh, of course, now you give me that. <laughs> Naturally! Okay, this should do the trick. Custom, variable, protoman. And let's finish you off. At any rate, I hope uh, do hero is enough instead of double hero. I forget exactly what the damage difference is. Mm, not enough. Well, okay. Hindsight and all that. That looked really strange, but I'll take it. And so we get Yamato Man version 5. And we're done here. But you didn't think we were completely done, did you? Yeah, we've defeated all the ones that'll give us Giga Chips, but there's still two more to go. And both of them are over here in Secret Area 3. Now, I was planning to try and take all four down in one go, but the last time I tried, I suffered audio desync, so we're going to do a precautionary refreshing pause right here. Right, the last two. Let's end this. So, yeah, I don't know what it is exactly about Game Boy Advance games that give me the most trouble as far as audio desync is concerned. Maybe it's something specific about the emulator or something? I really don't know. But anyway, our next target is over this way. We need to use the hidden passage and get to where we originally got the hub batch program. Right here. And we are confronted with scuttle viruses. So, let's see. I'm going to start just by pinning you in and getting rid of the auras. Sounds like a good idea to me. Let's see here. Not quite going to be enough. So we'll just do this one at a time. They're nice enough to wait their turn. Now the green one there worries me since I'm elect element. That could be a problem. Okay, let's start by going invisible and then getting rid of the auras. Throw a few chips. There we go. Just maximizing the time I'll have my invisibility there. bring a spare as a precaution. No reason not to. Okay, that wasn't so bad. And now this pairing. Let's see. 
can at least get rid of both their auras right away. Lure you up here to shoot. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully that'll be enough to finish you off. Good. Oh, drop the combo. One of those where I could tell my finger slipped just enough. Okay, you want to hit me with a hyper beam? You'll pay for it. I warned you, man. And so with that, it's time for Base Omega. But don't let the name fool you, it's actually Base GS. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna work on pinning him in the back if I can. Okay, very cooperative of you, thank you very much. I'm likely to eat the occasional attack here because, yeah. Okay. I really don't want this to count as the advance. I want to use these separately where I can. Okay, that was a good number of hits. Alright, how much are you down to? 600, huh? Okay... Best way to handle this. Well, I can get a quick 300 damage that way. Let's see... Bubble Man himself might be enough? There we go. Your reward for this is... Zenny. Ten grand. A good amount, but let's face it, when you're at this point in the game, you really won't have much left to buy, so it's kinda underwhelming. With that, just one left to go. And for that, we need to go to the other side of Secret Area 3. Go around this side... Ignore viruses a bit more... And up the giant staircase once again. 